the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. Tribune Control, I'm standing by for takeoff. Very good, Mr. Brand. You are clear to proceed. Thanks, pal. Hello, Tribune Control. I am now changing to horizontal flight. Okay, Mr. Brand. I have the latest Met report for you. Heavy thunder cumulus over Ohio at 4,000 feet. Could be an electrical storm. Right, Tribune Control. A revised flight plan to 15,000. Tribune Control, I'm clear of cloud, leveled off at 15,000 feet. Fine, Mr. Brand. Have a good flight. Tribune 3 to Control, cloud ceiling much higher than reported, climbing to 20,000. Come in, Tribune Control. Come in, Control. Tribune Control. Tribune Control. Looks like I'm on my own. Proceeding on revised flight plan vector 283. I shall relay my next report after the news conference with the president. Right, Mr. Brand. We lost contact a couple of minutes back there. I'm beginning to get a little nervous. Don't worry. I'm fine. Just fine. Hmm. 
This is the voice of the Mysterons. We know that you can hear us, Earthmen. You continue your futile defense against us, even though you must know that you cannot succeed. In order to show you your ineffectiveness, we will deal you yet another crippling blow. We will destroy President Roberts within the next 12 hours. Well, we've heard the latest Mistron threat. They intend to assassinate President Roberts. Yes, sir. And within the next 12 hours. There's no time to lose. What are my orders? You will go immediately and see the President in person. I will arrange a meeting. It is imperative that you explain to him the danger he is in. I'll leave at once, sir. It will be a tough assignment. The President has a reputation that he doesn't scare easily. Yes, but he must be convinced. What can I do, Colonel? I want you, Captain Blue, to cordon off the presidential residence for the next 12 hours, the danger period. We know that the Mistrons always strike within their own deadline. I want you to impose maximum security. Draft all the Spectrum personnel you need. Take Captain Oko with you. SIG, Colonel. Request launch clearance. Spectrum is green. Proceed with takeoff. And what will our role be, Colonel? I want the Angels to challenge anything with wings overflying the area. If you have any suspicions at all, do not hesitate to destroy the intruder. Get down to the Amber Room, Destiny Angel. I'm ordering a launch in five minutes. Lieutenant Green, launch all Angels. Angel One, immediate launch. SIG, Lieutenant. Angels 2 and 3, immediate launch. Angels 2 and 3, you will RV with Angel Leader at reference X33 above cloud base. Harmony and Destiny Angels are climbing for RV. RV complete. We're on our way. I'm a very busy man, Captain Scarlet. Please be brief. Mr. President, Spectrum have imposed a maximum security cordon around your residence. Now, I would like your word that you will not attempt to leave for the next 12 hours. I'm sorry, Captain, but I have a full schedule. But the Misterons have threatened your life, sir. I get threatened every day of the week. Phone calls, letters. If I took any of them seriously, I'd never get any work done. Sir. I don't think you realize the extent of their powers. You've got to take them seriously. I have a heavy schedule this afternoon, Captain Scarlet, and that includes the launching of a ship. Remember, Mr. President, the Misterons killed the Director General of the United Asian Republic. All state leaders run the risk of assassination. All right, Captain, you win. But I must insist on holding my weekly press conference. Very good, sir but we'll screen all newsmen with a Mr. On Detector on entering the building.
Suspect intruder at 7 o'clock. We will challenge. Prepare to engage if necessary. N90 Symphony will adopt interceptor flight pattern. Spectrum Air Patrol. You are about to enter a restricted area. Alter course immediately. We have instructions to destroy any aircraft violating the restricted airspace. Change your course. You have five more seconds. Don't try and bluff me. I know you wouldn't shoot down an unarmed aircraft. You've been warned. This is your last chance. Have you visual contact with the intruder, Harmony? Yes, Symphony. He refuses to cooperate. Attack and fire a warning shot. SID. Okay, you win. My name's Marvin Brand. Please explain your presence in this maximum security airspace, Mr. Brand. Sure. I'm heading for the President's news conference. I'm a reporter for the Tribune. Very well, Mr. Brand. One of our aircraft will escort you to an airstrip outside the restricted area. If you can prove your identity, you will be free to proceed to the press conference by road. Well, wow. Another girl. You don't look quite so frightening without that missile button in front of you. Maybe I should teach you a lesson. Tagita. That is far enough, Mr. Brand. My father is a judo black belt, third dan. And he taught you a thing or two, eh? No. I teach him. I am a black belt, fourth dan. I guess you made your point. You want to see identification? Here's my press card. Hmm? That seems to be in order, Mr. Brand. You are clear to proceed. Good. I've been looking forward to seeing President Roberts. I think the meeting could prove interesting. Most interesting. Any news, Captain Blue? No, Captain. We've checked out all the pressmen, and they're clean. The Mistrons are leaving their attempt a little late. Yes. But there's less than an hour to go. We must stay on the alert. The Mistrons don't make empty threats. Captain Black, relaying instructions from the Mr. Ons. You will carry out your mission. Your orders are to destroy President Roberts. And to conclude this meeting with the press, which I must say I have enjoyed, I would like to say one thing. We have all been under a great strain, but with less than 15 minutes to go to the deadline, it looks as if the Mistrons have not succeeded in carrying out their threat. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Well, so far, Captain, Spectrum has done a good job. Again, with respect, sir, you haven't made it easy. Captain Oker, I've been watching that saloon parked across the street for some time. I think we better check it out. Captain Blue. 
Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. Did you manage to get the detector around on that car? No, there wasn't time. There could be a connection between that saloon and the Mr. On Threat. Well, we better tell Captain Scarlet. What is it, Captain Blue? A suspect driving a black saloon. License number 19B0419. He drove away from the presidential residence when we tried to question him. A Spectrum saloon is in pursuit, but he had a good start. Right. Well, as long as he drove away from the area, keep me informed. S.I.G. Trouble, Captain? Not really, Mr. President. Well, it looks as though there's not going to be a Mistron attack. There's still time for me to make that launching. I'm sorry. Well, look, Captain, uh, this was being kept a secret. I've got a special interest in that ship. It's being named after me. What was that? The atomic liner. It's going to be called the President Roberts. Of course. They could mean the ship. It's a pity the President can't be here in person to see the launch. She's certainly a wonderful ship, dear. Yeah, she's the biggest atomic liner ever built, and the fastest. Mervyn Brand, what are you doing here? I came to cash in on an old friendship. I wonder if I could watch the launching from here. The press enclosure's pretty crowded. Sure, anything for an old friend. Thanks. Could I take a few pictures? Of course, Mervyn. I hope you get some good shots. Thanks. Thanks very much. What is it, Captain Scarlet? I've just found out that the new atomic liner is to be called the President Roberts. That could be the Mr. On Target. I see. I'm going to the shipyard. Shall I come with you? No. In case I'm wrong, we mustn't leave the President unguarded. There's still a few minutes to the deadline. Take charge, Captain Blue. I'm sorry, I was uh, daydreaming. Well, we're nearly ready. It should be a wonderful sight. It certainly will be. like a big crowd. Wonderful. Yes, I'm so excited and proud of you, dear. Well, I'll start making the announcement. As, As Vice, Vice President, President of the Trans-Pacific Trans Shipping, Shipping Corporation, Corporation this, this is indeed a proud moment, moment for me. My only regret is that President Roberts cannot be here to witness this great moment. However, without further delay, I will ask my wife to launch this ship, of which you can all be so justly proud. I name this ship the President Roberts. May God bless her and all who say. Hold it. Don't press that button. I'm Captain Scarlet Spectrum. 
there's reason to believe that this launching has been sabotaged. Sabotage? There's no time to explain. Clear the area immediately. But I do as I say, sir, please. All right, we'll do as you say. Hurry it up, there's very little time. Stay where you are. Earthmen. He's got a gun. Mervyn. Look out. Move, everybody. This shipyard could explode any second. Mervyn Brand. He was a personal friend. Please, sir, clear the shipyard. Y yes, Captain. I'll tell the dock supervisor. The shipyard is being evacuated. Yes, Colonel White? Yes, sir. That's what I said. Get all the people away from the ship. A bomb has been planted. No. No, we don't know where. It could go off any second. Yes, hurry it up. I'll organize the search as soon as everyone is clear. That's what I said. Get all the people away from the ship. A bomb has been planted. No. No, we don't know where. It could go off any second. Well, Captain, the shipyard will soon be evacuated. Good. You'd better leave as well. Right. Captain Blue, you can call off the cordon around the presidential residence. The Mr. On attack was against the atomic liner. I've taken care of the Mr. On agent and the area has been evacuated. A booby trap may already have been planted, but we can locate that with detectors. It looks like the Mr. Ons have failed. No, Earthman. We will be avenged. <laughs> coming, Captain Blue. I've had time to think, and the events of last week have brought home to me the real menace of the Mysterons. Yes, sir. Because of the quick thinking of Captain Scarlet, a major disaster was avoided. I only wish he was still with us, so I could thank him in person. You can, sir. He's outside. You mean to say he wasn't killed? Get him in here. Yes, Mr. President. Do you realize how close he was to that explosion? Captain Scarlet. Mr. President? Captain, I'm amazed. You don't even have a scratch. I guess I'm just lucky. Lucky? I'd say we're the lucky ones having a man like you around. Thank you. On behalf of everyone, all I can say is thank you, Captain. Green. Captain Scott. 